corner, there's a corner, and the other is the champ. Bad boy, don't hit, gonna get punched, gonna get crunched, I'm a muscle cramp. You were foolish, you pursued it, so let's do this, feelings right. Calling, calling, knocking, knocking, no more talking, time to fight. Hit a bell sound, now you're hellbound, I'm about to beat your ass. I wear gloves for the love, I don't even need the cash. Get my kicks by throwing fists, you're on my list of people to pound. List is lengthy, not a lefty, so right hooks are frequently found.
Hello again. This will be the third in the series of uh, developer commentary over cinematics. This cinematic is a uh, squirrel boss. Uh, this one's a little short and sweet. Um, most of them are here from this point out until the end. Someone pointed out how during our during development, it was pointed out to me how <laughs> long the first G64 cinematic was, so I tried to condense the others a little bit, you know, to try to keep everyone's attention span going. Alright, uh, plus I'm feeling a little under the weather, to the weather today, so we'll make it quick. Well, let me restart it with some... Whoa, 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 what is this? What are you doing with these losers? A furry says what? Is every jerk we meet in hell going to be a sexist piece of crap? Oh look, they have one single girl with them, like every other intellectual property throughout history. Let's make sure we point it out. Like I pointed out yesterday, this character, the boss here, was made kind of as a parody of Dead Mouse as far as visually. Yes. Wait! That voice. I have Say a lot of respect else. for Dead Mouse. He doesn't <laughs> push guy. buttons to play Finally, songs. He's white over here gets some attention instead of me. He's into every part of development of his live shows and he does live mixes. He actually plays his stuff, so this doesn't mean there's a knock on him. It's just kind of a rude neat character design came out of it. And the idea, idea of him loving Gunny's voice came pretty quick, and that was pretty much the... It, it wrote itself at that point. And this part of the song was completely written by our audio director, Bunny Dads, who is the voice of Bunny. Yeah, okay, enough of that. You've defeated me with the power of the played out 90s duet. Time for fists. Alright. <laughs> that one was pretty self explanatory, so. There we go. Um, hopefully, tomorrow I'll feel a little better. We'll be doing a uh, puke, which I think is a little bit longer and there's a little bit more to talk about in it. So, um, tune in then or catch it on YouTube where we're archiving all these and I will see you guys then have a good day I'm gonna go get my kids from school <laughs>